All right, let's try that one more time. Welcome back to the live stream. We are installing the upholstered panel tonight, and uh, it's the big one. It's the one that's going to conceal the window pill uh, as well as um, the back portion of the bed. So this is where a lot of things that took a lot of time come all together, and it's going to be very satisfying to watch this install tonight. So. Didn't want you guys to miss out. It was the last thing on my to-do list today to check off and get done. Um, if you guys hear anything wrong with the microphone, let me know in the comments because for some reason this uh, wireless mic uh, has messed up two or three times on the live stream. Um, I got some <laughs> really crappy speakers from Walmart to uh, test the audio before I go live. I usually do that, but uh, the system I have is it's really nice, so I shouldn't have to do that, but obviously it's happened a couple times. So anyway, if the sound sounds weird, tell me in the comments. I can fix it really quick. We can get back on the building van stuff. All right. So why is this so exciting? Because if we hop inside the van, we have this big section over here, and it's exciting because there are so many layers uh, in order to, that you have to finish to get to this point. Um, and it takes a lot of time, and when you get to it, it's very rewarding because everything is clean, it's done, and you can move on to uh, an even more exciting part, which is we're gonna be mounting the EcoFlow system. So until this panel goes on, we can't upholster and mount this panel, which the EcoFlow is gonna be mounted to. So that's why it's key that we get this done. Keep on trucking with uh, John and Susan's van build. Um, let me pick, where is the, let's see here. All right, let me grab a couple of things here. There it is, okay. It was in the van, all right, excellent. So this is what we, uh, we made earlier today. So this is our uh, upholstered window pill. Looking super awesome and even better when we put it around our window. So that, very clean. Again, we've got our wood uh, facing outwards because we're gonna uh, pre-drill and then do a final mounting of that after we mount it up here. Um, we got to do two things. We got to cut the holes out for these uh, uh, threaded inserts from Ford because we're going to be repurposing those to put the shelf back here for the bed for these guys. And then, um, so we'll do a little bit of that. It'll take about two minutes for upholstery. This is just held in by itself. It's uh, kind of a friction fit. And then when this outer panel goes on, it'll be drilled into there so it won't move because the outer panel will be drilled into there. We're gonna grab some uh, sound deadening material and we're gonna sound deaden this whole entire panel. Check that off the list. And then we're gonna go in through, we're gonna go through and uh, use a bunch of masking tape to hold in our ha uh, Havlock wool insulation. Now, if you guys have watched me on the Adventure Wagon build, you see that I have a huge panel that's just a one piece that I uh, double side stick to the wall. I do think that is, if you can go for that, that is the, uh, uh, that's a very good option because it will self hold it to the wall. Um, now, the method that I'm gonna use is the method that Havelock Wool actually uses in their video on their website. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a roll of masking tape and we're gonna create some netting to hold these layers of Havelock to the wall. Now, it may look silly, but again, uh, compromises in the van. We, we, what we wanna do is hold the insulation to the inside of the wall. We don't care what it looks like, we just want it to be held in place. That's the whole point. When the panel that we have uh, gets bolted to this, um, we'll have enough thickness from our insulation bats that we'll be able to compress it, uh, not too much, but enough to where it's not gonna move around on us. 
So for example, this is one bat of insulation. And see, we'll have, uh, we'll have two layers uh, of insulation. So let's just see here. Um, you know what? We actually, we might do two and a half, we might do three layers. Um, just because our, our chamber is so big. Uh, so we might do that. Because uh, it'll look weird in the beginning, but when we put the panel on, that third one is going to help this um, stay in place better. Because what you want to do is the masking tape is going to help it stay in there. Uh, and then the netting effect is going to keep it from coming down. So we'll have it right here. So this will kind of like rest on this ledge. And this will be great insulation because if we can get three in here, three layers, it'll be awesome. Um, yeah, so that is going to happen. And then finally, we'll just come around and we'll screw in our uh, stainless screws. So I need to go find the other box and uh, that's it. That's what we're doing tonight. So in the end, you'll see a nice panel with the upholstered window peel and more progress will be made. As usual, if you guys have any questions, put those in the chat and uh, I'll, uh, I'll ask, uh, I'll answer the questions. All right, where are the boxes? Let's see here. So give me one minute, I'm gonna grab these stainless screws. If you hear something in the background that is Nova, she decided that it's time to uh, eat her dog food when I went on the live stream. Okay. All right, here we go. Number 10. So these are also, uh, an Amazon purchase. So we've got number 10 one inch black truss head stainless steel screws, and these are excellent. Uh, they're self tapping, number one. Number two, they're stainless steel. And number three, they're painted black, which is, uh, it just makes everything look nice and professional. So you get a pack of 100. I'm not going to use that many, but we, we've been doing so much in the van that uh, i going to open up a new box. All right, I'm gonna grab a, our pair of scissors and we are going to start um, putting up our half-black wool. Actually, sorry, sound deadening. Sound deadening first. For sound deadening, we're using kill mat. So in this video, you're gonna learn 
kill mat install, insulation install, and panel, window pill. This is a good video. I'm excited because as a builder, you know you're making a lot of progress with the wiring and some other stuff that you don't see um, kind of behind the scenes on camera. This is nice because this is a, a very visual moving forward uh, part tonight. All right, so we're gonna put this here. I'm gonna score it right there. And we're just gonna do it in between each one of these uh, ribbed areas. So if you take this, uh, we're just gonna lightly put this on because we're actually going to do this the right way. And we're gonna take a, a roller right here and we'll go back and we'll roll everything. So I'll just show you on this one first. And you really, that's really the right way to do it. Um, Always save all your scraps, don't throw them away. Uh, one thing we don't want to do is put uh, tape on top of this ridge here because it's going to offset our foam window pill and we, we don't want to do that. You see, by using our scraps, we can just save a bunch of uh, extra cutting time. And so remember, what this is doing is it's taking that, uh, well, we've already done it. Yeah, this already sounds too good. <laughs> but we're basically taking the tinty sound, like that sound, and we're turning it more into a, like a thud. And for all my builds, we have this on the ceiling, we've got this on the floor, and then pretty much anywhere we can put a piece, uh, we're gonna put it there. So we're going to save that piece.
And they actually have these, uh, you can probably see it in the camera, these grid lines. And so you can kind of, when you get used to it, you can kind of just guess what's going to be a good fit. And you're going to be probably pretty close. If you can try, if you can not get any air gaps in here, that is preferred. That's only because it might be a spot where a condensation can collect. Um, so, you know, just a heads up. Okay. Um, So we don't have to, but let's just put let's just put another piece right here. So think of any surface, see that? All right, so watch what happens when we put this on there. If you guys are new to sound deadening. Okay, so remember that. Now, Isn't that cool. Pretty cool. All right. And that's pre I pretty much what I do. I just take all the scraps and uh, I just put them along these odd places. So, pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. All right, that's it. That is sound deadening. Now we're gonna do it on the top, I mean the bottom section, but uh, not tonight, because we're doing this top part. What we will do is start to take some of this Havelock and stuff it in all these grooves here.
Be careful because you will. Some of these are super sharp. Now, if you remember what we've uh, done in the past is we want to stuff the havelock in here for sure, but we don't want to overstuff it. So if you're to the point where you're forcing it into wherever uh, it's going into, that's where you want to stop. Okay, so that's about all that we can get in there. Now, a note here, 
Uh, some Fords have a rear air conditioning unit if you get the passenger version. And so this little bump out here is for that. The other side doesn't have that. So when you put this panel on, just understand that there's gonna be an opening right here that kind of falls down. So depending on how you install your insulation, you might have to uh, modify the way you do it. All right, here we go. We've got a fresh roll of masking tape. And we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna be using full bats as much as I can just to keep the consistency even. Let's see here. So we got one, two, let's see, one, two, three. Maybe we'll do it like that one. So we'll just put the first one like this. And so my thought before I got into doing this uh, today was kind of doing like a like a shingling effect, where I kind of have this one supported like that. You may get some comic relief out of this. I'm just, just give me a heads up. This is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be so awkward to get all this in here. That's the entertainment part of this live, live stream. I have done this enough places in the van to where I, there is a method to, this, to the madness. Um, this right side is going to be interesting when we go to put the panel on. Hopefully that'll stay. Some of you guys are watching, you're saying, is this really the way to do this? This really is the way to do this, I'm, t I'm telling you. I would not be doing this live <laughs> on YouTube if uh, I hadn't thought of other methods. There's Some people use string, some people use uh, netting. Um, th this just seems the, the most straightforward way to, to get this held up in here.
a lot of patience with this uh, too. One, two, three. So let's get the scissors. We'll cut a third little panel up there and just keep going. Scissors, where did you go? And as you might have guessed, all this overhanging tape will uh, will break it off before we seal everything in. So hopefully you can kind of see the method of the madness here because what's going to happen is we're going to uh, put the panel on and we'll compress this uh, exactly how we, we want it to, to sit. So this looks too far out, but remember the wall is going to go in about almost two inches from where this piece of tape is. So I'm trying to give you guys a reference as we go through this because I know it looks, it does, it is ridiculous as it looks. I'm not going to sugarcoat that at all tonight. It looks crazy. But I mean, think about it, you are putting 
sheep's wool inside of a cargo van. So it's not, I don't think it's that crazy. Now we have a slight taper coming into the van, so we got three here and we've only got two here. Seems to be what uh, what's going on.
Hey everyone, welcome to the live stream. We are installing the driver side panel. And yes, we are installing the hat like wool. And if you think it looks interesting, <laughs> as far as the install goes, you're correct. I thought about a, different, a lot of different methods. Um, I like this one. And Havelock actually uses this uh, taping method on their website. I was saying to uh, uh, earlier in the stream that some people actually use a netting or uh, strings like yarn, but what's nice is, believe it or not, the masking tape actually adheres really well to the Havelock. Um, and it, it sticks to it really well and actually does a good job holding it in place. Okay, we just pretty much got a upper run up here. So that's gonna go just like that. Where we did three from here over, three bats, and we did two here. The van kind of comes in a little bit. So that's what limited us from doing three across the whole entire whole entire van. And the thickness that we're doing is just enough so that this can uh, compress. You know, about a half inch or so when the uh, actual final panel comes in here. But we're going to be installing the main panel back here, and that's, that's what I'm really excited about. So, you know, the window's in and the, the wiring's in over here, all the riv nuts, the electrical, the shore power, the insulation, sound deadening. So you have all that in here, but you don't have the visual reward of the, pa <laughs> the panel being put in the van. That is, that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm sure you guys are as well. So that's gonna happen. In just a minute. I'm um, seeing if there's anywhere I can stick any more insulation. And don't worry, the, these all these parts sticking out, we will we'll chop them off uh, later. Okay, so that looks really good. Um, now we need to do, we did some vertical stuff. Now we need to go in here and do some horizontal. Uh, and we're kind of just creating a, a net for the Havelock.
Okay, that didn't take too long. Uh, now we want to make sure we have these cross pieces down here. Because although this is temporarily holding this in for us to get the panel on, we do want it to kind of do double duty and also, you know, limit any sagging that we might potentially have. Um, yeah, so this is looking pretty good. Let's see if we can get, make sure we don't have tape like that getting in our way. Trying to see how I can sneak this 
layer in here to cover up a little bit of this. Let's get our panel in and just see how that affects how we can hold some stuff in here. Now, if you don't want to deal with this, um, you want to do something, uh, if you have a little bit more of a budget and you can do the thin slit material, um, the 3M Thinsulate, that is gonna allow you to just, you can just do it much quicker. You can just do double-sided tape and uh, kind of be done with it. open these holes up and then we'll get this uh, panel in here. So I got had to spray a little bit more adhesive. While that dries, let's try to get, let's try one more time to get this uh, piece on here. And if we do, this this will be this wall will be perfect. And you guys can see there's <laughs> this is a very well insulated wall. It is very well insulated for sure. Be the hack right there. I don't know why I did that, did not do that earlier. You gotta be quick though, because it'll start to dra drag down, fall down, fall down on you.
Okay, the great news is we got three layers of Havelock, three, three bats thick. Um, and when we, we can just pull that up a little bit when we go to actually put the panel in. We just want to make sure when we put the panel in that this uh, bottom section, we put that in the best that we can. Um, yeah, everything is looking really good. Looks like we need to do one more piece of tape over here on the right. Let's hold this back a little bit better. Man, that is that is good. This is gonna be super comfy for sleeping back there. So what I'm doing off camera is I forgot to open up the holes that I upholstered over. Uh, this is for uh, John and Susan, Susan's uh, shelf that will be above or on the, on the driver's side uh, where their bed's going. So I was going to open it up later, but um, I think this will look much neater. And in just a second, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, AVC rig has these pre-cut holes. They're oval, and they're designed to make sure that they, you know, catch the offset of a Ford Transit install. So a lot, as you guys have, if you're doing your own van conversion, you know there's some stuff in the Ford Transit that's not technically perfectly aligned. All right, here we go. Getting closer to the finale. That's very close. Read to this light and we will. It's in my way. Let's see here. All right, how's that look on the camera? All right, let me move this up so you guys get the whole effect here. All right. So, let's see. Doing my builder thinking right now. Make sure I don't forget anything that I want to do before I seal this up.
There's a dip right here in the wall. Oh, so we want to make sure. Get that. Okay guys, let's get one more shot at this so you can look at it. This is what we have finalized as our install method for this Havelock in this very huge unsupported space in the van. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a screw or two in here. Um, the good news is we get to cheat a little bit on this panel. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So, we're going to be reuse, we're going to be uh, repurposing these holes for the shelf, like I just said. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this. Uh, let me. All about the details. If there's anywhere you want to make sure you get the insulation really uh, done well is around the window, because you're going to be sleeping right against the window. Can't do anything about the glass. You're going to have a magnetic cover that you can buy, but this outside edge, uh, anything that you can, if I go through here and I can see the sheet metal, that's that cold coming through. All right, here is where I said we get to uh, cheat, and that is we can pick this panel up. So here we go. This is the final time you will see the insulation. Um, Wait, I got a little spot over here I missed. Okay. So we have these uh, pre-threaded socket head cap screws. We're just gonna hold this up here.
And this way we can take our time, get all these screws uh, drilled in here exactly where we want them. Now we got a little bit of wiggle room on the uh, insert here. So, let's see, we'll push it back. And it looks like we need to come down with our panel. Well, let's come down until we get uh, even with this. So right, right there. Okay, so the top is level. Now we need to check left to right. We need to go left just a right hair. Next, we're going to incorporate our spring-loaded uh, zip wall poles because we need them to hold this panel in a certain way. We're using these because the van has this natural curve to it, and if you don't preload the curve, uh, weird, weird stuff happens. Okay. So again, we push this up and our left to right is perfect. So now we'll just push this in. So you can see how this reveal line allows you to adjust and still have that really nice uh, look. Okay, so we're checking for evenness up here. So everything looks good.
All right, before I actually screw the main panel into the wall, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, screw in this window pill. It's like a jungle gym in here, I'm trying to get to my tape, tape measure. Um, let's see, tape measure, we got some screws. I'm trying to think what else we need here. We need a permanent marker. Thanks, James. Okay. So for obvious purposes, we want to just double check that we have a good center. And this is only, this is only for looks. No other reason. Do two on the sides. And then three top, three bottom. Our piece of wood is one inch. This tape is one inch wide. So we want to land our screw in the center of this tape as our reference. And then we can, before we drill the uh, bit all the way through, what we'll do is we'll um, uh, we'll obviously pull the tape off. So hopefully we got an even number here. So 34, uh, 15, 17. No, 16, let's see here. 15. Seventeen, yeah, seventeen. And verify your center by just measuring the other side one one time. Don't put a marker on your fabric. That would be terrible. All right, so that's where those are going. And then let's, uh, oh, here, I gotta show you an awesome tool that you guys gotta get. This thing, is, I have it uh, Velcroed to my saw. Go to Johnston Johnson Construction Master. So this thing, Johnson Construction Master, is awesome. So here, if you guys are, uh, my grandfather growing up, you know, he would quiz me all the time on measurements from a tape measure, and he'd always want me to tell the fractional number, the answer, um, every time I measured something. But as I've grown up, I got a little lazy and I found this calculator and it's awesome. So say we got 17 inches. What you do is you type in 17 and then type in inch and then do divide by two. Um, and it gives you the fraction. So eight and a half, that's pretty simple. So, it, but if you had a more complex, uh, like nine and seven sixteenths, 
uh, minus five and three eighths. Uh, that can get pretty challenging to do right off the top of your head. So eight and a half I was off a little bit. Eight, eight and a half. There. I don't know how I feel about eight and a half. We'll have to we'll have to see about that one. Feels too close. And again, again, guys, this is all made up, so if you want to do a different layout, you want to put your holes in a different pattern, you want to put more holes than I've got in here, you can definitely do that. So you can do 10.5 divided by two and it gives you 5.25 or in this calculator you can do 10, uh, 10 inch uh, and then one over two divided by two and then it gives you the fraction five and one quarter. Um, so pretty, I think it's pretty cool. Now we're not putting one, well, I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind. Five and a quarter. So what I did five and a quarter and I divided it again and it gave me two and five eighths. And I think that's where I want my uh, hole. One, two, three, four, five eighths, two and five eighths. So this one is two and five eighths. And then down here is two. And the five eighths. So I kind of want the, these two holes to be here. So two here. Um, we'll just go, let's get, at least get these center ones drilled first. Uh, just, we, we need to locate this. Gotta move on. Oh man, there's all the comments. 
I was wondering what was going on with my phone. Screw the math. I know, guys. But if you watch me long enough, you know that this is this is how I operate. Okay. Um, I, for me, when I go to the other side, I already know what it's going to look like, and it's it's going to be perfect. Um, The metric system, are you talking about the metric system? And if you guys didn't know, I used to be, I was an engineer for six years and yes, I converted every single one of my imperial fractional drawings for my parts uh, that I designed. Um, I did industrial uh, maintenance and uh, I converted all those drawings to millimeters because you're right, it was much easier to, it was the better way. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Screw the measurements. See, that's why if it's, if it's your custom van build or your DIY van build, you can drill, you can drill holes wherever you want to. Okay, so we got that for our, and we're just gonna break it. And see, tape comes off, hole is where we want it. Now here's the thing, I have a template for, a cardboard template for all these windows. It takes me maybe half an hour, an hour to install these windows. Um, but the first time I did it, it took forever. So now I have these holes laid out. I'll transfer them. It'll make it much quicker. But you guys are completely right. You gotta love the comments. <laughs> you guys are great. We got a good, good crowd tonight. So I'm pushing up here on this foam because I'm getting this uh, section level. Guys, it's just, uh, I know you can see I'm nerding out on the, per the perfectness of this, but I just, I like when a plan comes together. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Everybody in the live stream is like, just screw it in the wall. I got it. I got it. I hear you loud and clear. Okay, we're not putting one here. We're just doing this top and bottom where these curves are. I'm probably going to put one here later. I'll probably do that. But just to get this stream going.
And John and Susan, I did not forget about your reading light right here. I will, I will put that in there. I'm just locating this and uh, doing this quick stream here. How's our, how's our questions going? Yeah, it is a while. I do this. I'm doing this by myself. As as the company grows, we will. Um, I'm excited to bring people on. I'm not against that. But this is uh, this is the uh, this is where we're at right now. Um, okay, let's get keep going here. If you're in Hickory, North Carolina, and you would like an internship, and uh, it would be it would be a paid internship, um, I'd be happy to uh, just contact me in the info, OdysseyCustomVans.com. So let me know. Now, when you're going into this piece of wood, push, give it some good pushing force. If you don't, it's very possible you will push this away from the wall. And if you already got too many screws in, you'll crack, uh, you'll crack this really thin piece of wood that's, you know, already kind of, kind of frail. Oh, I know. I'm telling you guys. This I told you this stream would this would look really cool. See, we measured it right, and I forgot to put the measurements over here. So now we're gonna. Now, since we actually remember our measurements, we can do two and five eighths right here. Man, need more tape. Hmm. How come that? Why does that look weird? All right, guys, I have to be honest with you. I was going to put this in, do all these bolt holes, um, but John and Susan, this is where their reading light goes. And if you see right now, there's no reading light, which means I need to put, actually, you know what? I can install this from the front. 
I do not have to do what I did. Aha, uh -huh. see I have this big chamber down there. Okay, man, that one was, uh, that was an easy fix. If that chamber wasn't down there so I could run the wire, I would have to take this off and then, uh, if, so say you did exactly what I did. You forgot to drill a hole here and, or you got excited upholstering and upholstered over it. Um, if you use a hole saw on this fabric, if you can pre-cut it with a razor, do that because this Marathon fabric is incredible fabric. It has Teflon fibers in here and uh, they're super strong. So if you get it caught in a hole saw, it'll rip one of these cords straight across the whole fabric. Um, so just keep that in mind if you get into a situation like that. Also, John and Susan, if you guys are watching, uh, we will be needing to relocate the EcoFlow display and the Webasto heater control panel back over behind the jump seat because the uh, Webasto communication cable is not long enough. Um, so, yep, so we need to make that change, which is really easy and actually I think is a better change. All right, so check it out. Here's the reveal. That's what you guys have been waiting on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, perfection. Feels good, looks good. Um, all right, so let's keep going here because I'm curious. The I had to pre-drill all of these because uh, from here up is that boron still from Ford, which is just a pain in the butt. It just kills all your drill bits. Um, you, the drill bit that is the one you need for to drill this, I have one of them and they cost anywhere from 68 to like 120 bucks each. Now one will last you forever, but um, anyway. Down here, I think this, I'm hoping this is a different steel. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna give this one final look. Um, now, thank goodness there's a shelf going here because I'm sure you guys know with my OCD that we have a little offset screw here. Um, so now I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be matching, these will be separate. I'm gonna match these top ones. I know. So everyone that is on the live stream, Make sure that you are subscribed. If you're watching, get subscribed, hit the notification bell. Um, I go live random and I don't want you to miss out. Now again, I did another trick here to make this look so neat. It's this screw is on the one inch offset from the side. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take a piece of tape and we're just gonna do this so we know one inch offset to drill our hole. Uh, this part over here is very challenging because uh, over here is where we have that wire run and we have to be mindful when we put a couple screws in here uh, where, we're, where we're headed with that. Um, let's see, also, let's see, we've shifted down.
Okay, that's good. We still can get those threads. All right, let's keep going here. Oh yeah, we're good. We are golden. All right, one more for the top. All right, that is great. So now I can take these out. Throw them down either way. Okay, these openings, this is for if you guys wanted to put L track in the van. Um, I've been telling you that I'm actually going to be doing. Uh, uh, little shelf for John and Susan to have, you know, to put their phones or iPad or store uh, some, uh, we've got, I believe, 10 by 10 boxes. All right, so perfect example right here. As I'm talking to you guys, that is another piece of boron steel. So I'm going to have to pre, uh, I'm going to have to pre-drill that. So the drill bit I'm using to pre-drill is, I think it's a number 30. Number 30 drill bit. Yeah, I think so. There we go.
All right, if you drill in a dr uh, drill bit or a screw and you have a little bit of a wobble knee, wobble knee -ness, <laughs> I can't talk tonight. Replace the screw because you've probably bent it and you, you risk uh, shearing the head of, off the screw. Okay. Whoo, all right. It looks so good. All right, let's keep drilling, I'm thinking, let's see here. I'm getting a little worn out here, so we might be wrapping up. If you guys have any questions, I'm gonna keep drilling some holes, but now is a great time to ask some questions as we get uh, down the stream. But definitely, you guys that are on there right now, make sure you're subscribed. Share this to anybody that is doing a van conversion themselves. Okay. Here we go. Now we got some room. Um, yeah, somebody that's doing a van conversion themselves and may need some tips, ideas. And I'm gonna start doing it more at the beginning of the streams. Um, the van business that I have right now, this is John and Susan's van. So this is an Odyssey Custom Vans van build. Van Builder HQ on the YouTube that you guys are watching, that is the educational YouTube to teach you how to build a van. And then if you need help or you give up, you can call me and I'll build your van. That's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the joke around here, but it's true, if you guys need help, let me know. Um, I actually got a, uh, had a phone call today that I didn't get back to. They were asking how to prep their van for a rooftop AC, so I'm gonna call them back tomorrow. And uh, I do wanna open up a consultation line. I just have not gotten around to that yet. But that way you guys can schedule a time, book a time with me. Um, to do a one-on-one a -on -one consultation. Uh, it's essentially scheduled time uh, for a fee and I will help you for that hour, do whatever, anything you need answered van related. I help you design something um, like a water system, solar, anything like that. So in the comments, if you are interested or you would be interested in something like that, uh, just type yes. Let me know if that's something you guys would be excited about. All righty, looking great. Let's see, we'll do one more. Let's do one more. Video. Oh, 100%. I will definitely do a video tour for this van. No, no question.
And you guys, I probably mentioned this earlier, but I'm, the reason I'm so excited about this, not only that, you know, it's visually moving the van forward uh, that you guys can see, but uh, I needed this panel to be on before I could upholster that uh, half inch Baltic birch structural panel that we're putting on here for the bed system because that's going to hold the EcoFlow and everything. And I couldn't, uh, until this was behind it, I couldn't go to the next step. So that's, that's why this is, for me, such a big deal um, with, with the progress of this build. It's just trying to get that. That panel was uh, a challenge because not only do we have to locate the holes on the van, put the rib nuts in first, then translate the rib nuts location to this panel, upholster it. We got to transfer it to the other panel and then upholster it and then have all those little holes line up on both sides and know this location of this lip so that we can offset the lip down so that it doesn't look wonky when we put it in here. Um, you know, all, all that stuff, all that behind the scenes stuff. Uh oh. Hold on, Nova. Nova. Come here. I heard it too. Sound like a tire exploded outside. All right. All right, guys. Um, Let's, uh, I'm gonna go check out the, what that sound was. Um, there we go. So this is definitely where we wanted to get to tonight, checking this off the list. Um, it would've been perfect if I had pre-installed that reading light, but it's no problem for me. I just, I'm gonna drill a half inch hole saw hole. Uh, the housing for the lights really nice you just can mount it straight on there <clears throat> and then after you mount the housing on there uh there's just one set screw to actually locate what orientation you want the uh the led light we'll do that in the next i'll save that for the next live stream how about that um actually i'll drill the hole and then i'll talk about it because i need to I need to get the wiring so that i can get this main panel on uh, let's see here. I don't see any questions. Um, let's see here. I would definitely check out, I'll, I'll go on the computer and I'm going to show you guys a couple links here in just a second. Um, but to finish up with this, tomorrow's goal is to, uh, copy this structural panel that goes here. I need to copy it, trace it to a, another sheet of plywood so that once I upholster this, I can, I got a copy that I cut out for the other side. And then this other side is just a mirror of this side. Um, and then when that side's done, uh, all we have to do is these bottom panels, which are, they're the easiest. Um, this bottom panel, uh, we're just upholstering the front of the wood. So this panel behind here will be just plain underlayment and then we'll have the upholstered face panel um, cut the floor uh, a bunch of stuff happening tomorrow but you guys we will not um, you'll be here for the ride so all right um, let's see okay this is where this is going to be tonight. Looks really good. We're just going to leave it here. Let's hop onto the computer and close out the live stream. Let's 
see here. Guys, if you are still here with me, thanks so much for watching tonight. Um, yeah, I love you guys join, joining me for, for the build. It's a lot of fun. Okay. VanBuilderHQ.com. Check out the website. There is a DIY van build cheat sheet. It's an Excel sheet that I made. It is all of my Amazon purchases over the last three years for the shop. If I ordered something and it came to the shop, it's on this list. There's more stuff added all the time. It's completely free. It's just a guide to help you get going. There's over 250 items on the list. Fuses, uh, MC4 connectors, solar panels of different sizes, uh, charge controllers, inverters, water pumps, and tools. The tool section is the best. All the tools that I use in the shop that are kind of weird, like the RivNut uh, adapter tools are on there. That is Van Builder HQ, the DIY Van Builder Cheat Sheet. If you go to vanbuilderhq.com, the website, that has, uh, so that's my brother and I. Um, so we write blogs on here. We have blog posts going over all kinds of questions that you may have about vans. Which four trans is the best? True cost of van conversion. How much solar do I need for my van? All kinds of stuff. All right. When you click on this, you go into, and then we break it down to uh, photos from the show that we went to, uh, and then specifics that I think are relevant to kind of guiding you with whatever blog post we're talking about. Um, so for example, this is the uh, Dometic awning we put on Thomas's van, which is Marine One. It's a self-supporting awning. It's really nice. Um, anyway, that's an example. Now, if you go to my website, which is Odyssey Custom Vans. This is the company. This is my company that builds vans. Currently, we have an adventure van for sale. I'd love to show it to you guys. We took it to Adventure Van Expo Chattanooga, and we just got it back from Stark, Florida, from the Save Expo, which is the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo. It was awesome. I've got a video coming out soon on that event. This is the van. This is all of the amenities in the van. Um, there's, some, there's some pictures here. Now, I've upgraded the van even more. There are topographical vinyl graphics on the van. There's a vinyl graphic for the hood. You guys may have seen it on the channel. Uh, really, really cool stuff. So more stuff has been installed on this van since taking these photos. If you're interested in this van or a professional van build from me, click here to schedule a call on this link. That link's important. So this link right here, this one flashing. So click that link. Here's the calendar. Click a time and a date, date and a time, and you can hop on a phone call with me. This will go straight to my calendar. Um, now this is what that future consultation link will look like. So, uh, all right, if you guys tonight are on this stream, um, let me know, schedule a phone call, and uh, we'll, just, we'll do this little experiment. Um, schedule a time if you have a question, and the guys that are in this chat right now, I'll give you a 30-minute free phone call with me on a question that you have on a van-related topic. So, uh, yeah, use this. We'll kind of use that to uh, just play around with doing the consultation model. And then, yeah, if it works, I'll set the same thing up. Instead of doing a 30-minute call for consultation, I'll have a, well, it might, be the, it might be the same exact thing. Anyway, we'll have fun with it. And, uh, yeah, so you guys are in the chat that watched this whole entire time tonight. Um, let me know if you guys want to, if you have a question, and um, schedule a call with me, and I'll answer it. Uh, as a thank you for watching the stream tonight. All right. Guys, that's going to do it. Join us tomorrow. We're going to be back inside the van. We are going to put the panel up, that wall, do all that stuff, continue with this uh, build. It's going to be a lot of fun. You can uh, catch me back here. I'll probably do two live streams again tomorrow, early and then late at night. Um, but, yeah. Thank you again. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Subscribe, like, share this video to people that you think may need it. 
comment below if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, use this, use this uh, consultation link to uh, connect if you have a personal question. Um, thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next live stream.